welcome to vlogmas day 20 my name is Davina and this is little workroom crafts okay this is the afternoon as you can see I've just got out of the old uh, bath uh, Glenn and I we tried well I try and help put it that way <laughs> um, go through the house this morning so um, and then we've got all the Christmas chocolates out ready and uh, yeah not long now so uh, what I would like um, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do my advents today i'm going to do two lots tomorrow because i'm on my last bookshelf and um i don't want it being as long as yesterday i'm so sorry about that uh but so yeah so i'll do them both tomorrow and i'll tell you what me doing this book these book tours has tidied up my shelves because i've haven't bought back stuff that i didn't need and it's been so good <laughs> so there's a bonus out of it okay then right so let's get started Righty ho, as I said yesterday, most of these are going to be patchwork and quilting. There is a couple of knitting and that in there. But, and by the side of them, I have my fleece, my field guide to fleeces. This is a brilliant little book. I got this second hand online. I did show and talk about it on one of my podcasts, but it is brilliant. And this one, as you can see, is a very old book is the big book of needle craft right then okay let's start here right at the end is more reversible quilts by sharon pedersen now this one is extremely rare cynthia in england um picture piecing and i was lucky enough to um buy this off of a friend because i couldn't years ago because i couldn't find it anywhere it's basically making pictures how to do the pictures um uh, it, you know with of, of quilts putting them into quilts this one is easy bias cur covered curves this is very clever wendy hill i will say she actually um covers all her curves rather than trying to fit them in with seams she just covers them with bias binding and that is a clever one i will say this one i love oh. you can obviously see why it's got a moose on it <laughs> quilted forest decor you name it in here it's, it's in here there's all the patterns in an envelope but there is oh i remember actually getting this from one of the quilt shows i couldn't resist it it is a beautiful beautiful book i absolutely love it and there's me moose look <laughs> definitely gonna have to try and make that one of these years because i love it right what we got now oh yeah this was one must have been one oh right this one is one i picked up um from a show a long time ago it's quilting for show but you know i've i've never done it it was just interesting really to see the standards that you have to get um your quilts to because you do have to get them up to a high standard to actually get them judged and so on this is the lynette anderson christmas we did see the autumn yesterday yet again absolutely beautiful it's then um, pieced uh, by machine and there is applique and stitchery and you name it is in there that is a very nice little book this one jelly roll you can't go wrong with a jelly roll this is pam and nikki lintot now they actually have a they're a mother and daughter team and they have a shop i think in cornwall or devon down down in the west coast and they do a lot of jelly roll um quilts this is a lovely book this one here is a pattern <laughs> um as you can see i actually won this in a drawer <laughs> so lovely little thing machine quilting in sections this is another marty mitchell yesterday i showed you the log cabin by marty mitchell and i will say this yet again is absolutely brilliant because for someone especially like me that can't now get down on our hands and knees and layer up a big quilt um, this is brilliant because it actually does show you how you can, uh, you know, piece, quilt it and piece it all in sections. It's very clever. I do like this book. Right, what I'm going to have to do is just turn you off. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully this will be easier. This is a beautiful book. Uh, 
absolutely gorgeous. It's a quilter gift, um, Barry Sue Gourdet, who it, and it's a pleat. Look at those for Christmas, appliques, stitcheries. Oh my gosh, that's all I can say. This is a beautiful book. All right, now we're here. This one, Happy Endings, is different ways that you can actually finish off um, your quilts. So there's your prairie points there, there's your binding, there's your curves, there's your pretty patterns. And this is a Mimi Dim Dim Dirich. And I think if I remember right, yes, look at that. To mum, happy 36th birthday, 2006. <laughs> Lots of love, Rebecca. <laughs> So I've had that some years. So that is a very good one for, for, for beginners. Right, now we're going off of this one. The Border Workbook. Now this is, but they did this and then they did what they called a gold edition where I already had this one. And this is all for, um, let me see if I can get you to the gallery. There we go. See different ways that you can put borders not just plain strips you can do like that one there like you've got little mice to go with the, the cat one very very good little book that i think glenn got me that one actually let's have a look here what is oh right tilda there is a few of tildas i will say <laughs> this one is the handmade and happy tilda i do like her work very good and this other one i've just seen where is it here now this one which is quilts by the calendar i have actually made that one that was what they call hawaiian applique also done one of these blocks off the uh, maple leaf because i do love making that block this one i do know glenn brought me for my um birthday one year i don't know if he did actually write in this this is the oh he did look 2006 again to vena yeah okay so this is the quick and easy giant dahlia quilt um you can which you can actually sew on the sewing machine there we go half yard gifts by debbie shaw this one is another silk ribbon embroidery another one that i've picked up at the charity shop this one is the quilting on the go as you can see i use this a lot it's english paper piecing i do enjoy that book this one here is a oh, <laughs> i think janet claire this is lovely i must admit home quilt home i do like that book this one here oh my gosh it's quilting more memories so it's like i'm creating a uh, a memory quilt this one is a patchwork and quilting just a simple one that's got a beginners to intermediate it's just basically different quilts this i love this is material obsession now this one is just beautiful that's like the quilts are made out of you know scraps and oh this is a beautiful book i do this is just the practical sewing uh, encyclopedia that's got all different techniques of different sewing in there this one i love which is your scrap quilts that would have been a charity shop find and i love that quilt up there absolutely love it these Oh, let's see if I can get these out. Yep, this one is absolutely gorgeous inside, and I mean gorgeous. Yeah, it's not tilled up, but it's on the same um, thingy. Oh, this is an Annie Downs. I love Annie Downs' work. I have got a lot of her patterns as well, because as you say, see, these are the books. I've got patterns and all. <laughs> I've got so many of her patterns. I just love Annie Downs. This one is another good one. It's um, Stitchery and Applique. This is another Gail Pan Designs, and it's um, Baskets in Bloom. Beautiful. This is oh, Sunbonnet Sue red work yeah 
makes sense. This is a book oh, I did buy this from a charity shop years ago. Um, cushions and covers. It's different ways of finishing off and so on. This is a big patchwork. Another Reader's Digest from a charity shop. Patchwork and quilting applique. I do like things like that. Annie Downs. <laughs> a family gathering. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This is the Starstruck Quilt. As you can see, it was 50 pence, so I couldn't leave it. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible for things like that. This is another Tilda. This is her So Pretty Home. Yet again, a beautiful book. This is oh, an embroidered garden. I have done quite a bit out of this book. This is at work. Oops, I can't get that back in. So where were we? Ah, right. And obviously everybody know how um, obsessed I got with this one <laughs> by Lorna Bateman. Oh, I still can't get over that. <laughs> this is another Annie Downs. Oh, I have made so much out of this book. It is. I've made the bag, the big red bag you can see. Oh, it is just brilliant. Let's see if I can. Ah, there we go. This is another Annie Downs. The Angel Story. I've made loads out of this. This is gorgeous. If anybody loves stitchery, um, and oh, it is just amazing. This is Elena Anderson. Um, her cottage, country cottage quilting. Very, very good. This is Carla Harmony in for quilts. So these two here are really good these are the the collection of the fast fun and easy now that's a vase i have made the vase and this is the bowl but i think this is the second bowl i think i might have a, the first one in that and i couldn't believe this i remember i was saying to you um that i've got everything to start off the punch needle which i'm going to do next year i already had a book look <laughs> and it's folk art design so i've got a book <laughs> <laughs> these are the fast and fun again that is uh, fabric knitting this must be oh no this is book cover i've made those have i actually i thought that was it ah there we go that's the boxes so i've got those this is free expression um the art and this actually was from a charity shop because this is com contemporary quilts um where I'm not. I'm more of a traditional quilter. Glenn brought me this. This is the Harry Potter knitting book, which I love. This is another Tilda. This is her... Yep, this is her Christmas crafting. Absolutely brilliant. Lovely little bits in the Tilda books. Now, this one is very, very useful, actually. This is the Patchwork Minus Math Work. Because anybody that actually is a quilter or, or does quilting know that maths is a big, big part of it. Um, so with your seam allowances and oh, and all this, that and the other. So this actually is a really, really good book, especially like if you want to do half square triangles, because then you've got to add seams here, there and everywhere. So, um, yeah, I would recommend this. Another Tilda. This is her spring. This is brilliant by Barbara Cheney. Quilt it. Um, I brought mine absolutely years ago. I think I actually did. Was lucky enough to find this in a charity shop, I think. And then as soon as I took it into work and I showed Deb, Deb managed to source it. But this is all different ways on which you can see if I can get in any closer. See um, how you can quilt a quilt. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. This is beautiful. Cinnamon inspiration. I actually brought this in the um, uh, up at the NEC one year and it's uh, wool felt and patchwork and plique and stitchery and all stuff like that. This is one of my, uh, look at that, oh, stunning. This is Bonnet Girls but this is not Sue, this is more um, the, what they called, uh, you know, the girls with the big skirts and and stuff like that more victorian style sues this is my lovely friend lynn's this is making scrap quilts to use it up lynn edwards you 
can't go wrong with a Lynn Edwards book. This is Celebration Transfers Embroidery. This would have been one I've picked up at Charity Shop. That's just full of all transfers. Now, this is the <laughs> uh, Easy Reversible Vests, which we call waistcoats. This actually does have a good um, selection of waistcoats in that. And this one is the Easy Reversible Vests. So, again, and I've got two the same. <laughs> I haven't got an older one and a new one, have I? <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to look in that because that's got a re revisited edition. So that could be the actual original edition. Oh, my gosh. Looks like I've done it again. Excuse <laughs> me. I thought I was so good. Right. This is um, Machine to Punto. I do like to Punto. I did add. Oh, this is a pick four easy fabric choices for great quilts. So basically, you yeah, it's where are we? Yeah, it's it's to do with the blocks. Yeah, it is to do with the blocks. This is beautiful French braid quilts. This is absolutely a gorgeous book. It is um, foundation piece in most of it, but it's beautiful. This is folk art applique. Very pretty little projects in that. This, oh, this is the one where I showed you the other day um, where I got the flowers from for my quilted waistcoat. This is the big essential quilt sampler by Lynn Edwards. As I say, the, this is a sunbonnet Sue and Scotty, the little dog. <laughs> Very good. Yet again, um, stitchery and applique. This one is all, um, I've just mentioned the word, uh, foundation piecing. There's 300 paper piece quilt blocks. I don't actually use paper for mine, but as I say, next year I'm going to talk a bit more about the different techniques of quilting. This one is amazing. You actually can make your own diary into a quilt um, and the blocks in here will help you and you can start right from um, like you know school years right up to now it's brilliant I would recommend this any day so it is the quilters written at the quilters diary written in stitches by Mimi Ditrich again and it's the patchwork place highly recommend that book oh two of these right this is the mandala's <laughs> embroidery um i love this book it really really is good it's got all transfers and that in it this is the, the spring so we've seen the summer we've seen the autumn what i've got to do then is get the winter haven't i yeah so this is the lena anderson spring this is what you can do with um hexagons it's clever, it is. It's done on the machine, but it is clever. Now, this one is Lynette Anderson quilting with cats and dogs. Now, I actually went to um, a day course when Lynette, and Lynette, with, when Lynette came over to trade at the NEC this year. And I think this is the one. She launched this book. I went on a day course. There you go. Look, 2010. And um, she signed the book for me. She's a lovely, lovely lady. This is just a baby quilt. This one is quite clever, really. Sorry, it's um, quilted animals. So what you do, look, you can sh you do it on the reverse. It is clever the way it's done, I will say. This is another one. Is this by who I think it is? No, this is a um, strip favourite. This is another one that you can do with two and a half inch jelly roll strips. I'll leave that down there. This, as I have said in the past, every quilt should have a label. And this is a way that you can make labels. Um, so you can make an envelope and then attach it and then pop, pop it in the envelope and then put it in the, on the back of the quilt. This one is out of print. I was lucky enough to find this at, um, I was asked to be a, a 
the uh, area representative for the Quilters Guild a few years ago and we had a, um, a sale table at one of our events and this was on it. Um, yeah, the double wedding ring. It, I'd love to make that quilt one day. One day. <laughs> right, these two here are both for Karen Hallaby. This is her um, simple log cabin and this one is her attic windows. I have done that one, I will say. Now we get into the good stuff. Let's take these two out. Right, this I would recommend to anybody. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is basically quilts from... Um, actually, hang on, let's go back <laughs> to the beginning. That would be easier for us. It's actually set in 1861, and this is the, store, the, the diary of that year of this lovely lady here. And you find out her, um, um, let's see, January the 7th and so on. You find out her diary, but within the book, there is quilts. So, for instance, there you go, the 8th of March, snowed a little this morning, but pleasant this afternoon. You know, this is beautiful. I have read and read and read this book. You can make a little um, journal cover. And, oh, I just love it. Absolutely love it. And the pictures. This is the Civil War basket block. Let's see if I can find the quilt for you. There we go. There's the quilt. Absolutely gorgeous. I was trying to find... There, look at that. Beautiful. And then this one is another one of my... That is my favourite. <laughs> this one here is by the same... Or, or, oh, no. Yes, it is. Yes, it is by the same author. She does her research. And this is Prairie Children and their quilts. Now, in here, actually, as you can imagine, Laura Ingalls is mentioned. <laughs> I will say, uh, but there, yet again, you've got the stories of what the children, look at those photographs, of what the, the children's side of, of it, look at that, with the pioneers, and there's their dolls, See, as you can gather, I love the history side of it. This is the friendship quilt. I think this is gorgeous. Um, right, let me see. This is a signature quilt. Let me see if I can find... Is this the one I'm looking for? Nope. But look at that photograph. No one smiled then, did they? Dear. Right, okay, let's quickly, because I'm worried about time. Um, no, it's here somewhere, I will find it, but as I say, I absolutely love, love, love these two books, here she is, Laura Ingalls Wilder, there you go, from, from Little House in the Big Wood, there, Ma was busy too, Laura and Mary helped her weed the garden and they helped her feed the calves and the hens. They gathered the eggs and they helped make cheese. <laughs> Isn't that brilliant? Oh, this is an amazing book. I just love it. Absolutely love it. But yeah, they're my two favourites. This one was a lucky find. This is the um, So A Circle of Friends and these are all, um, you know, uh, projects that are based on the 1800s again. This is another Karen Hallaby. This is pineapple quilts. Right, Lynn Edwards. Now, she also did uh, blanket stitch quilts and I was invited to go to her launch for this so she signed this copy for me. Um, I have made quite a bit out of this book, I will say. I do like her, the way she do things. This here is another Tilda. This is Crafting Tilda's Friends. This is all animal-based. Another Jelly Roll 
by Pam and Nikki. They are fun to do. This one is, um, yeah, by Shirley Bloomfield. This is a brilliant book. I am actually really... This is a, another charity shop find. Kath Kitson. This is beautiful. I've got to show you this. <laughs> I'm supposed to be saving time. This is Once Upon a Quilt. A scrapbook of quilting past and present. Yet again, you've got the history. Oh, I love this book. It is absolutely gorgeous. So this is all about um, the, the history of, of the quilting and, oh, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. This is Raised Quilt and Stitch. This is, a, oh, shh, there you go, Sylvia Critcher. That's the lady I was thinking of with the Trapunto. Very, very good book if you're into Trapunto. This one's all right. It was a charity shop find. Mm, what I'll say about that. This is a Tilda. So pretty Christmas home style. If you're into Tilda. And this is another Tilda. So sunny home style. This one is cross stitch with patchwork. So they've done cross stitch, which is, there is cross stitch patterns in there. And then you put them, then they show you how to they've put them into quilts. Very interesting. This one is just one of the quick, um, colourful quilts if you've got to make a quilt, quilt quickly. This one is all, this is very good. I don't know if this is still in print actually. Um, it's different quilting designs which you can use. There's a whole collection of these. You can get Christmas, you name it. And I happen to pick up an autumn one which is um, the Art and Heart, Art to Heart. They are good. Ooh, I think I'm nearly there to this one. Yep. Right, this is just another quick quilt. Make a quilt in a weekend. And last for this side is quilting in no time. They're just basic, got easy ones. Right, let's turn around. Sunbonnet Sue, and I showed you the quilt and the book um, a while ago on my podcast. This is the lovely cross stitch book that I got gifted to me by a lovely lady. This is traditional country style because I do love my country style. <laughs> um, I picked up in a charity shop. This is beautiful. It is 301 country Christmas quilt blocks. I tell you what, I love this book. I actually had this out a little while ago just looking thinking, oh, I should start something. This, I'm not sure this is still available. I was lucky enough to buy this yet again off of another of a sale table at a show um make room for quilts i'm so glad i got this because they show you all different houses and log cabins and all that lot in america and how they display their quilts this is a beautiful book if anybody sees that anywhere i'd grab that one <laughs> this one is hand stitched crazy patchwork this is beautiful well worth getting hold of let's take Let's take that out. That's better. I'm not fighting then. This is yet again shortcuts to country style because I do love the country style. This, I was saying to you yesterday, when I went to the um, history of quilts at the V&A, so I would have gone through, they went through from the 1700s to 2010, so it would have been 10 years ago. And I said about the K Facet one that I found later. Well, in here is the quilts. Uh, that were on display and I'd rather have, uh, this is the one I brought and it is brilliant oh yeah this one is the embroidered village bag that's the whole book is taken to make that um, yeah <laughs> a lot of work this one isn't actually in English and uh, it's not even been translated or nothing and <laughs> I'm going to tell you this <laughs> I made a bag out of this by going by the measurements and the pictures. And I will say, it is the best bag I've ever made. <laughs> Handbag. <laughs> so, oh, the best one I've ever made. Is that a book I can't even read? Oh, dear. Right, let's get you there. Uh, yeah, can't believe it. Right, what we got here. Oh, this is another Tilda. This is one of her first Christmas. Now, this one here is from a lovely lady. I do like, I do like no Sally Holman. Um, she's local again 
and this quilt is brilliant and she is lovely this is the roly poly by jenny raymond uh, she's another quilt here for over in the uk and this is also another one this is gail lawfer she does a lot of as you can see stained glass window quilting patchwork this one here is another gail these are all like local quilters this is another lynn edwards this is her cathedral window i would recommend this book to anybody i have done so much of the cathedral window this is her second edition i will show you i do have the first one some yep i do i've just seen it i do have the first one which is no longer in print but um yeah absolutely brilliant uh this is just one that i've picked up with for different quilt patterns this is another gail lawfer as i say she does lovely landscape work she really really does of course sunbonnet sue i love my sunbonnet sue this is an old old book i think i picked this up this is a gail lawfer i picked this one up in the library years ago and they were doing second hand right let's have a look what we've got here oh this is just a little book that was given to me by um a, a, a rep at work this one is is actually beautiful and let's see if i can get it in a better shot this is beautiful quilt agarami agara, agara, yeah it's all fold work basically let's see if i can get that in a little better sorry about this this is celtic quilting by gail lawther this one is yet again snowflake which is what they call the um hawaiian quilting like i said about i was explaining in my quilt this is beautiful this one isn't in print anymore the essential sampler um it is a sampler quilt but gone up to the next level basically and this is by nikki tinkler um it is beautiful these two here are sally holman as you see she does beautiful landscape work um the way she works um those are absolutely brilliant this is quilting with a difference by nikki tinkler again this is um hand for, for lovers of hand quilting you can understand why i've got that um but it's traditional with a twist this is brilliant she shows you how if you notice at the picture there it's not just a straight um stitch she does it with all different stitches it really really is clever this one is oh i got this to do some stuff for glenn's nieces when they were little this is the essential quilter yet again uh, traditional techniques because i love looking up all the history of the technique right we're nearly there now <laughs> this one is obviously country quilts I think you've kind of um, gathered my uh, <laughs> my way of going. This one I did by um, Noof. This is Pauline Ennison. And she actually won Best in Show at the NEC, which is our um, big quilt show here in the UK and Europe. And it's uh, beautiful. All 3D flowers, absolutely amazing. And I had the privilege to stand in front of the quilt and have a look. And it's lovely. And I had to get the book that followed, um, went with it. Um, Machine Applique. As I say, I don't normally do this kind of thing, but I like to look into different ways that that is done. Machine quilting, yet again. Because being a teacher, I did actually have to you know because not everybody was a hand sewer so i do did have to teach both this is a oh gosh this was years old i picked this up this is the quilter ultimate visual guide and it is good if anybody get sees this in a charity shop grab it this one if this was yes this is country quilts i love this i brought this at a show it's like a book of zine this is a meadow quilt let's see oh and i don't want to go that way do i want you that way there you go meadow quilts so that's all um 
nature that's the word i'm looking for this is how to get this is maggie davis she is another quilter here in the uk how to get your perfect points on your um like hawaiian applique and so on very crazy oh sorry very crazy patchwork so the, yeah, right this is mandy shaw's first book i think yeah yeah right oh that one i got gifted to me make your uh quilting pay for itself i just yeah, no i wasn't interested in in that but i've kept the book this one's beautiful this is a uh, simple amazing spiral quilt so yeah i know that that is more of a contemporary again but i like to you know get some of, of you know interest in what's going on this is a just a quick and easy projects um for the weekend quilter so if you've got to whip up a quick quilt the next two coming along is debbie mum i do love her style and i love her fabrics i have managed to pick up you don't often find them here but i have managed to pick up a couple of fat quarters and this is her 12 days of christmas absolutely gorgeous right so this is the book that isn't in print anymore this is when um lynn, um, lynn edwards did her first cathedral window so it's through the window and beyond so yeah i was lucky enough to get hold of that i think this is another yep another adventure um nature's christmas debbie mum And it can't can't go along the line without my Eleanor Burns. <laughs> um, this is really good, actually. Yeah, again, there's her son Orion that I was telling you about yesterday. And this is all um, ice creams. It's very good. I do like that one. This is, of course, Ella Burns. And it's the way she does her sunbonnet, Sue. I have done some of these. Yet again, quilt labels different ways of putting quilt labels together and then these two so let me get hang on let me show you these two first and then these are the last ones this is the sampler quilt book by lynn edwards then she did the new sampler quilt book so i don't think these two i know that one ain't ain't current i don't know if you can still get this one but then she put these two together to make and here it is let's get this out so she put the two together so you've got the sampler the essential so but she has added some more blocks in this that are not in these two but as you can see i like to collect a, a whole collection because <laughs> fussy like that right then okay so that actually is the end of my bookshelf <laughs> And wasn't I clever? I only had one repeat. I've got to keep that one quiet, which was a crochet. I do also keep, because I'm a funny one, like this was the Yarndale leaflet that I got last year. And I also still have as well the um, Edinburgh Yarn Festival one as well, because they're memories, isn't they? So they normally sit on this bookshelf as well. Okay then, right, so tomorrow we are back to normal. I have got to get up really early because I'm going out to um, the shop to get the uh, weekly shop um, and everything that's left ready for Christmas, all the food. We've got all our treats out this morning. And yeah, and tidy up my shelf here behind me. And then this room is done and um, can be packed away and until next, well, I'll probably be in here between Christmas and New Year because I can't go along without sewing. So anyway, that's enough of that. So tomorrow I will show you my new cast on and how I'm getting on with my socks. And I hope you've enjoyed my library because <laughs> I do call it a library. <laughs> As I say, these are the books. You want to see the magazines and the patterns, but we won't go there. <laughs> OK, then. Right. So I will be back tomorrow. So take care. Stay safe. Happy crafting. Bye.